I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. Rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Life, life. If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight But you didn't know me What you wanted was a game to play How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey. All right, y'all. I got to get my eyes. I can, I can, I can. Hey, hey, Dorica, Nicole Reeves. How y'all doing? Happy Friday to y'all. So, y'all, I am so excited. Today is Friday. I'm, 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 I'm just ready to just kick back and relax. I got to get this cord untangled. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm running a little behind. And I had to take a breathing treatment earlier. So, yeah, my, my cords are like all tangled up. Look at this mess, y'all. <laughs> but it's okay. I will I will get it together. So how did y'all Friday go today? Um, let me know if y'all can hear me. Um, I'm trying to get my other computer um, plugged up as well. So tonight, so y'all know I'm trying to do my little series of um, my little crafting channel. And so tonight, uh, Fridays, I call it Creative Fridays or Create with Friends Fridays. And so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. So if y'all want to join me in the craft that I'm going to be doing, we're going to be cutting up some t-shirts tonight. Hey, Tim Tim. So, if y'all got some scissors and y'all got some t-shirts y'all want to shred up, y'all in the right spot tonight. So, I'm so sorry y'all I'm running behind. This this is just a hot mess. I normally, because I work from home, so I sit at my desk and just have it right here running, but I need to be able to move to my big table to do the t-shirts, so... I'm going to try to unwind as much as I can to um, get this project complete. I don't need that much. Just a few feet. I think I got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. So how did y'all Friday go, Tim? How was your Friday? Zarika? Uh, too much lip gloss. Um, Nicole Reeves. Let me get in here so I can see y'all comments. If you're on Facebook, Please um, give StreamYard permission to share your um, your post so I can see your post, y'all. Um, so let me switch this over. I'll be right, right back. I just need to switch this. Okay, I already did that. <laughs> so now I just need to get found it, <laughs> the tip. Okay, now. Yay, now we can do some crafting. Nope, it's not on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I have to put it on my other um, thing. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm hissing. There we go. All right. Woo. Okay, y'all. I hate this thing. And I can't wait till it's done and over with. All right. So here in the bushes trying to learn something. Okay, Tim, we'll get you some scissors. Go find you an old t-shirt that you want to cut up. Hey, Tim, we're doing t-shirt shredding tonight, y'all. And I don't know how many people I can have on my stream yard. But I'm going to post a link. So if you want to come up, that's cool. Oh, let's see. Tim's in the building. In a rhinestone design, I made too big. Okay. Yeah, I'm still I'm still a, a baby when it comes to rhinestones. I actually had did a design, but um, yeah, I didn't like how it came out. So, all right, y'all. With that being said, I'm gonna figure out how to drop a link. Okay, if you want to come up, that's fine. I'm gonna do it like a uh, big rooster does. You just gotta show your face so I can make sure you're not no weirdo and let's cut some t-shirts okay so i think i click on invite and i copy the link yeah copy the link and i drop it here and then i think i can like pin it to the top let me see i'm still learning how to do this y'all um no uh i just put it it was right there if i need to drop it again i don't know how to pin it so if i need to drop it again i will drop it again so y'all ignore my chair my cat she has completely tore up my chair this year costs 200 dollars too <laughs> that's why it's comfortable too and i'm not getting rid of it i'm about to cover that thing up with a t-shirt some kind of way so all right I think I got the link um, dropped. So if y'all want to come up, y'all can. I'm going to get my laptop in so I can get my big table over there. I'm just going to put big table. All right. There we go. Let me, it's mute. Let me start the camera. Hopefully it's on this new camera I just got. Hold on, y'all. Let me mute this. I'm still learning this stuff. Okay, that's muted. Let me add it. I appreciate y'all being patient with me. Add it to the stream. Okay, so that's an okay. I'm getting it, getting it, getting it. Okay, one more thing I gotta do. Your browser has lost connection to your mic. We don't need that. I just need to get it on the right camera. Um, let me go to settings, camera, and USB. Okay, and so y'all can see that. That's the other part of my crack room over there. So remember I told y'all that um, I took over the hall downstairs, so that area over there, it's kind of clean, so I can show it to y'all. Um, that area over there is supposed to be the dining area, but as y'all can tell, I have my heat press, the big tool chest with my saws on it, my printers, and that's where I do my rug. Um, then this area, if I do, I'll do a spin around if y'all can. This is the living room area, but I took over this as well. So y'all gonna see my messy desk because I didn't finish cleaning it out. That's my that's my desk area. Yeah. So that's the tuck tour. <laughs> okay, so I want it on the big table so y'all can see. All right. Okay. Okay, so we are going to be, of course, my mom is calling me. Hey mama, I'm I'm live on YouTube. I'm gonna call you back. I'm live. I'm going to call you back. Bye. Okay. So 
we are going to be say yes cutting t-shirts and everybody can hear me so i'm going to get started i have these t-shirts so last was the last month i did it july yeah in july i think i did it in july um like towards the end of july i did a t-shirt cutting workshop called cut the wine and it came out i was so like i had to reschedule this thing like three or four times due to the weather or um the first time was due to the t-shirts i had ordered t-shirts from all day shirts and apparently they have a landing page so like you know when your pay your website remembers the pages you visit so y'all don't judge me by my mess i'm a true crafter my stuff ain't pretty okay i just looked at those like oh that looks horrible but it's okay because it's been put to use but anyway back to the story um <laughs> they um who's in here hey sonya how are you we're cutting t-shirts so if you have some t-shirts like an old t-shirt you want to cut up you might want to grab it so you can cut along i dropped the link to Streamyard if you want to come up let me know you can come up as long as you show your face on the camera first you don't have to stay on the camera but just show your face because we don't want no weirdos coming in um but anyway all day shirts have this landing page so it looked like the page that I used the last time, the previous time that I ordered t-shirts. So I, I had placed my order through that. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Normally I get my shirts when it's within three days. I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, what's going on? The weekend is Saturday. The t-shirt uh, workshop is Saturday. What's going on? So I called them to check on my order. And I was like, yeah, I placed the order. I gave her the order number. She was like, those order numbers, we haven't, we, we, don't, we haven't used those. No, she said, we used those order numbers last year. We have new order numbers. I said, well, how is this a last year order number? Um, and it has my current order on it. And she was like, well, sometimes if people go to the landing page and not the actual website, it'll take the order. And I'm like, y'all need to fix that because people are running businesses here. I, I didn't want to be without t-shirts. So I had to repone it because of that. And then like three more times later, I had to re, uh, I said, repone it, postpone it because of the weather so we finally had it and it was worth it i did a nacho bar all the ladies I, or made them like um swag bags i made them tote bags with their names on it notebooks with their names on it i made them some wine glasses and i'm gonna do a those wine glasses came out cute so the next video i'll do i'm gonna do it on the wine glass i did i etched the glasses um what else they got they got the tote bags the wine glasses they got a makeup bag they got a koozie um they got a keychain it was so nice my swag bags were bomb so but yeah so but this lady uh she kind of like my sister really she was helping me and so she didn't get to get her t-shirts cut and we both forgot about them because she sent them back home with me so i'm about to cut her t-shirts um but she didn't get to get her t-shirts cut and um yeah she just messaged she was like hey did you cut my t-shirts? I was like, girl, I forgot about them t-shirts. They in a box somewhere. So we're going to cut her t-shirts up tonight. So what I did was a front cut, a back cut, and a side cut. So if y'all got three t-shirts, y'all want to cut them up, feel free to do so. Um, I don't know how to pin. Let's see. I don't know how to pin the link if you want to come up. I don't know how to pin the link. So i'll drop it again it's right here it's right there it's it's up it's up at the top so if you want to come up you can if not that's okay all right and i just want to make sure that i'm out where i need to be and let me do that okay perfect so let's go to the big table i'm going to remove the
Y'all can hear me? Okay. Hey, Big Roo Roo. All right. Hey, Sonia. Okay, y'all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one shirt because y'all know where I got to be at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I think, is are you are you going on at 8 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, Big Roo Roo, or is it 9 o'clock for me? Uh, this is my mama, y'all. Mama say hi. Hi to my, my friends. Um. Okay, y'all hear me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to try to get all three of them done. Okay, so cool. Let me make this big. All right, so the first cut I'm going to do is, I call it the booty do. And so this cut is a cut that it goes on the back of the shirt. And I already have a folded line, so I'm actually going to use that. And what you want to do is you want to fold your shirt in half to get that line. And you can do it with your hands. You can rub it and make that line with your hands. The heat of your hands will iron it out. Or you can press it, whatever you want to do. So then what I do is I just grab the back part of the shirt like this. Hold on. This thing, this camera, this camera is a new camera, y'all. And I haven't used it yet, so I think it's doing some weird stuff. But let me know if y'all can see. Let me drop it down just a little bit. Right there. And it keeps coming out the thing, so. Let me start that back up. Hold on. All right. Add to stream. Y'all should be able to see back now. Okay. There we go. Do I need to come down some more? Maybe right there. Okay. So, you want to... And it's over here. Okay. Okay, Crafty. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you all coming in. And so you want to fold it in half. And then what I do is you stick your finger in between there. That's the front. This is the back. Do the same at the collar and shake it down. So now it looks like this. So then what you want to do now about halfway at the shirt let me turn it this way because this is the way i cut you want to come in and you want to make a, a cut probably about a quarter of an inch a half of an inch so you do it and then you leave about a half of an inch space in between each line you cut and so the thing is let me show y'all what i'm gonna do let me do like this so i can I'm basically just rubbing a line in there so I can see where I'm putting. So this end of it, it this little invisible line right here, y'all. Let me let me do this. Because this would be better. I'll use this ruler so y'all can see. So you want to do the cut in the angle. And all I'm doing is gonna make all my cuts go to the ruler. And it's going to, the cuts are going to get longer and longer. And this is 
how you do it. And I'm only cutting the back of the shirt. I'm not cutting the front of the shirt. I'm only cutting the back. Don't worry about messing up. Just try to keep your lines as straight as you can. And you want to just keep going, keep going, keep going in a diagonal. Yeah, keep going in a diagonal. So I'm going to move the ruler, but y'all see what I'm doing. I'm going to move the ruler so I can cut faster. Y'all want to make sure y'all got a very sharp pair of scissors. I got these on Amazon. They were like $30. Um, it's time to get a new pair. I wish I could find somebody here that knows how to sharpen them. All right. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. All right, just keep going over and keep going over. Now, normally what I do do is when I start a shirt, I cut off all the hems. I didn't do it this time because I'm kind of rushing. But it's okay because it's going to get chopped. I, every t-shirt that I buy, I have to cut. I do not like having my t-shirts not cut. So. So I'm going to cut right here because I'm going to cut the hem off. And I'm going to stop right there real quick. And I'm going to fold it so I can cut the rest off real fast. Hold on. So now I'm just cutting the hem off. And it's okay for me to fold it and do it like this. So bam. That's done. So the back is done. This is the back of the shirt. You want to stretch it a little bit. I could have found some more so it can droop better. But the thing is, when you cut t-shirts, over time, they're going to stretch even more. So... This is okay. So next, I always want to make sure that I match my hems. So I'm going to cut the hems on the the uh, what is the sleeves. And I like to take these and keep them and turn them into bracelets, y'all. I'm a weirdo like that. I like to wrap this stuff around my head. And just do something like that. That's just because I'm just weird like that. <laughs> so then, so now my sleeves are cut, right? So next, we want to do the collar. I'm going to fold it in half because who needs a collar? <laughs> so make sure it's flat. And I'm just going to go right up under this seam. Bam, just like that. And sometimes you will hit that part right there, but you can clean that up. Just by cutting it off. Hold on. Okay, get it together. It's so time to get some new scissors. I see some kind of black um, scissors being advertised on Facebook that uh, I said I wanted to get. And they were like $27, I think. I'll fix it in a second. Okay, so now I want to make the, the sleeves. Y'all see what I did? How I cut right there. Let me show y'all. Right there is kind of torn. How I fix that is fold the shirt back in half and go in 
and just make a deeper cut. But not too deep, just where I need it to go. All right, so next, I'm going to take it, make sure my sleeves are lined up, and I hope they don't mind me doing this. I don't think she does. But I'm going to make sure the sleeves are lined up, and I'm going to put some inserts in the sleeve. So it, I'm, I'm all about the shoulders. I like showing my shoulders. So I'm going to start right here, and then I'm going to do half-inch cuts. And just know the thinner your cut, um, the more appealing it is. When you come right here, don't cut on that seam. So try to do a smaller cut and then cut around the seam. Hey, let me see who came in. Hey, BDBGP, how y'all doing? Deborah Garrett, how y'all doing? We doing some t-shirt cutting. We doing some t-shirt cutting in here, y'all. If you cut off any more material, oh, wait till you see my um my mannequin, that t-shirt that I cut on my mannequin. I call her Phoebe. Oh, now they can get a little bit, they they can get a little bit raunchy. But uh mine don't. Now, after next summer. It might be like that because the girl's gonna be working on her body this winter. So it might be like that. I'm warning y'all. Y'all may see all, all kind of skin. Okay, so let me grab Phoebe. Hold on, I gotta take this off real quick. Uh, I don't knock stuff in my head. Okay. Um, how can I do this? Okay. So, this is Phoebe. I'm about to show y'all. Hold on. I gotta rotate the camera. Okay. Can y'all see Phoebe? Now y'all can see Phoebe. This is Phoebe. I want y'all to be able to see her whole body. So hold on. Let me. Dang, I keep losing my camera. Hold on. Let me start cam. Mute mic. Start cam. All right. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. It took me to another camera. Hold on. Settings. Hold on. I'm so sorry. It took me to the wrong camera. Okay. In the show. Okay. So y'all can see PB. That's PB. Okay. So this shirt, Big Rooster, you were saying I wasn't leaving nothing. Look at this shirt. Let me bring her over here. Phoebe heavy. Okay, y'all see Phoebe's shirt? She's showing all of the... Yeah, okay. So, I hope I don't get uh, ticketed or dinged for this, but Phoebe Gray, get, you know, she's going to reveal herself so I can show y'all the shirt we just cut. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Do we need more light? I feel like I need more light. There. There we go. Y'all say hey to Phoebe. So this is the shirt we just cut. And y'all can put y'all pictures. Y'all can do. I know the Rika said she's doing rhinestones. So. This is what the sleeves look like. I think I need to give me a thicker model. And this is 
See, I like it to hang out the shoulders like that. And so this is how the back looks. Hold on, let me. PB ain't thick enough. This is a large. I normally do smalls on her. But this is the back of the shirt. She's in an angle, y'all. Like her body is angled weird. So, but this is the back of the shirt. Let me get her closer. So y'all can see the back. So y'all tell me what y'all think about that cut. Let me come over here and see. Okay. Let's see some of these comments. Um, everybody saying hey. Hey, Tuck got talent. Oh, thank you, Big Rooster. With Tuck, you messing up a perfectly good shirt, darling. <laughs> I just made that shirt 10 times better. I just made that shirt 10 times better. Okay. Hey, Deborah Garrett. Sonia Siegler is in the house. BDBGP. Everybody saying hello. If you cut off any more material, don't be naked. Now, Big Rooster, this shirt technically wouldn't be for you. But, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Hit that like button. Yes, please, please, please hit that like button. If you like what you see, Phoebe is ready for the beach. And, and next summer, I will be too. Me and my mama. Mama, are you still in here? I need you to. I need you to type something if you're still in here. We're going to be both ready for the beach next time. My, your innocent eyes. <laughs> your innocent eyes. Pika bougie, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Ready to see that, is, that, that side action next. Okay, so I'll do the side action next. Hey, Tampa. We, we shredding up t-shirts. She be cutting, I already made you a shirt. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody saying, hey. Okay, okay. All right, so I need to know what time it is. Do I still got time? What time, what time Big Rooster go on 10? Eastern Standard Time. Tell me at Eastern Standard Time, because I, I know he's... Um, Cause you know I gotta show up there. I can't be late. All right, so we're gonna do the side cut next. Let me come over here, and you know what? For the side cut, I'm gonna do a smaller shirt. Cause another thing is when you cut in t-shirts, um, you wanna make if you do smaller and more fitted shirts, it looks even more. You know, yeah, you, you ladies know the word. A little bit more sexy. Okay, so this one is, oh my gosh, too little for me to read. This is a large fitted. We're gonna rock with this. Okay, so this is the side cut. As soon as I can get my leash together, I'm gonna put it back on the big screen nine oh nine eastern standard time okay cool cool i could do all the shirts then okay all right cool 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 okay so this next one so good i'm gonna slow down because i feel like i was rushing myself and i can barely breathe now so i'm about to slow down and then we're gonna do this cut okay so let me make the table big let me let me grab something Real quick because I want y'all to be able to see. Um, oh, I don't hurt myself. I wanted to get a piece of foam board because this shirt is gray and it'll blend in with the table. So, hope I don't knock nothing over. And 
time for me to drink some water. Hold on. Okay. So here's our shirt. And my oxygen. Okay. So for the side cut, I wonder if I can do it like this and y'all see if I stand right here. Okay, yep. Let me turn this this way. Oh, I can read that. Okay. Um, yes, take your time, take your time. Okay. Yes. Are you still? Oh, oh, oh. I ain't gonna say nothing about that. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so this is a fitted shirt, right? So I'm flattening out my shirt. Hold on. Let me raise y'all up. Hold on. I see something bad about to go wrong. All right. There we go. Now, let me raise y'all up. There we go. Rotate and I wish I had a production crew. You know, I technically do. I technically technically gave birth to a four-man production crew, but you know, they have other important things to do. Okay, so with the front of the shirt, you want to fold the shirt in half, flatten it out, try to get it as flat as you can, make sure you're matching your edges together. Some of these shirts, are, I, I actually won some shirts from All Day Shirt. She does a giveaway, like, I think she does one every week. And she gives away 50 shirts. But when I won, I won 100 shirts. So all these shirts came from them. And all you had to do was go to the live and like and follow. So, um, all right. So you just flatten it out. Okay, this is the front of the shirt. Jesus, I feel like I need more light. Hold on, y'all. Let's see what we can do here. Don't tell me it's not. Okay, I got a clip light. Okay, that helped a little bit. A little illumination. Okay, this is the front of the shirt. Y'all can see I'm sticking my hand in the collar. So to do this cut, you want to make sure the edges are flat. And then you're gonna fold, come about right here, you're gonna fold, no, right here, you're gonna fold the shirt over like this. Now I'm telling you, when you fold this shirt over, the higher you go up, the more skin shows, okay? So let me see if I get my crease. Nope. Did I do that right? Hold on. Okay. Because of the way this shirt is made, I'm going to have to do it different. But yeah, you fold it over like this. And the only reason why you're folding it over is to make a crease. So you can get a line right here. So basically, my invisible line is, this is my invisible line. So I want my crease, my line to be like that in an angle again. So that's where I'm gonna be cutting in the angle, okay? So y'all won't be able to see my invisible line, but I know where I'm cutting. So I'm gonna start cutting. Now this, it's gonna cut both sides. So you wanna start with short and then make it long as you go. I need to have some straighter hands, cause baby. So for this shirt, because the, the way it's made, I probably, I'm probably going to repeat my lines like two or three times. Yeah. 
but you just want to go down in an angle all the way down so while we're talking about this i am about to start a t-shirt club for cutting t-shirts and it's going to be a box i'm working on my pricing right now so if y'all want to receive one let me know it will be on my website all right now we're getting into the good is good almost there I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my edges I like to fold it together and do it this is quicker and if you got some really good scissors you can absolutely do it but these are getting a little old I'm gonna save that one because gray is this color gray charcoal gray is my favorite color one of my one of my favorite colors hold on let me okay so i just gotta cut this one in half well i'm gonna try to try to get three out of it let's see yeah i should be able to get this in half okay and of course y'all know me well if you don't know now you know i gotta cut off the collar and we great um I'm, I'm about to make miss big rooster blush because she great have all the skin showing on this shirt so for this shirt i'm not going to cut around i'm going to try to cut in an angle so let me use my piece of cloth i'm gonna cut like that okay in an angle and i'm about to cut up the sleeves because y'all know we don't like edges we don't like him the only edges we like is in our hair so i'm cutting those those um off the sleeve and why not why not make the sleeves match so let's put some slits in the sleeves uh oh my light's falling i'm just gonna put a couple slits i think phoebe don't like this shirt she got it made because she get free t-shirts the kids gotta pay all right and one more thing i'm going to take my front just like i did the back well let's see how this look first okay Let's go to Phoebe. Phoebe, how you doing over there? Good? Okay, cool. She says she's doing good, y'all. Hold on, let me turn this light off. Okay. So, slide this back so y'all can see. Rotate Phoebe around. Fellas, close your eyes. Okay. This is our cut. And this is the side cut. So let me get it on her. I love this cut. I'm telling you, once I lose weight, I ain't not even losing all. I just need to lose a little, a little of my stomach. Mm. Y'all gonna hate me. Y'all might as well be prepared to talk about me because I do not care. <laughs> I'm rock. I'm rocking this cut. I don't want to tear it, so let me get it on her. <laughs> Is Big Rooster still in here? Because <laughs> I wish he was, I wish I had a model that like had legs because it would be so, so much better. Okay, let me fix it. So y'all can see it's she's so short oh my gosh okay let me fix it okay how y'all doing y'all ready to see this cut because this cut is dope like 
This cut is near close to lingerie. Dope, okay? Hold on, let me see what y'all seeing over here. Let me see. Let me slide in. Get in where I can fit in. Don't mind Duke. Y'all see that oxygen tank? That's Duke. That's my boyfriend. He go everywhere I go. Okay. Everybody's saying, hey, 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 hey. Cool. Okay, big rooster. This one, this one right here, this is the cut for you, right? Okay. So y'all see that side cut? First of all, let's talk, let's talk about the V, how the V came out perfectly in the front. Okay. And then we got the V-neck collar. And then we're rotating to the side. Let's get into the side. Y'all, she needs to be a little bit thicker and taller. Ooh, child. So that's the side. We're working our way around to the back. And I would definitely recommend, if you're going to wear this shirt, this would be good to wear with a bikini, too. Y'all see how it comes down around? Uh-oh, hold on. How it drapes down around the hips. So I'm trying to spread it out so y'all can see how it drapes. But yeah, this is the side cut. Ain't that cute? You can drip some rhinestones going down there, some spikes. But yes, that is just. Okay, let me see what y'all say. Hold on, I gotta get some water. Let me grab some water. I'm gonna come and sit down for a second and just read y'all comments. Okay, and I'm back. And I'm back. I'm sweating. I'm working out over here. Okay, let's see what we got. Howdy, Nicole Reeves is in the building. Tampa's in the building. Everybody's saying hey. Hey, 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 hey. Nicole, Nicole. Thank you. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite cut. I'm going to be rocking it. I can rock it now. I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I will rock it now. But I want to look a certain way in it. So, yeah. I'd only be able to wear that at home with hubby. Not, okay, right. So, listen. It works just like, you know, lingerie bedroom attire you don't even have to go pay victoria secrets you can pay me and i can cut you up something decent <laughs> okay what's it let's see i'm not about to show all my rolls with that little bit stuff. listen hey they gonna get all this all these rolls and the jelly okay they need something to put on the rolls <laughs> I know, right? So that is the side cut, y'all. And then, so we did the back cut. We did the side cut. Okay, let's do a front cut. We'll do a front cut. What time is it? Okay. And then after the front cut, I'm going to get off because I need to fix the children something to eat. I'm still a mother. I keep forgetting. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I just think I'm a crafter. And then reality hits. And then I realize, oh crap, I'm still a mother. Yeah, that's my life. Yes, the rose and the jelly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Apple jelly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Let me go back to the table. And okay, let me go back to the table. All right. So next cut we can do is a front cut let me grab another t-shirt um what kind of shirt maybe like a red shirt i know i got some red ones hold on this one might be too big that one might be too big uh, what about this gray shirt? I'm making a mess over here. Okay, let's rock with this gray shirt. So it's a lighter gray. Yeah, I really like this shirt. I'm about to put that on my Facebook to see if somebody want to buy it. 
That is so cute. I don't know what kind of picture would I, I might put some, I might go ahead and put some, take it and make a little rhinestone tidbit or something and drop it on here. Yeah. I have one that says dope that I already made. I mean, we can press it on there just to see what it looks like. Hold on, let me find that. Wait, I know where it is, hold on. It's not like really, Oh, I had made these um transfers. They might be messed up, but I had made these transfers for my t-shirt cutting work for my workshop. If I can find a good one, we can put it on there and see. Never mind, because I just realized I don't want to waste my rhinestones. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch that. I don't want to waste my rhinestones. But we can put a picture. I do have some pictures. So let's put a picture on there real quick. And then we'll cut the other chart. Let me come over here and grab my box and my press. We'll use we'll use the easy press for this. Because it's already hot outside, and I do not want to turn on that um that um what you call it heat press. So hey, I need somewhere to put this like that. Okay, crap. Okay, we'll do that last because I have to unplug the camera. So we'll do that last. Let's get into the next step. Grab my oxygen back. Okay. So for a front cut, these shirts look like that. Um, front cuts are always simple. But what we want to do is a cut all the way down the middle, kind of like the one Phoebe had on. So earlier. So, same thing. You want to spread, you know, flatten your shirt. You want to fold it, match up your sides, flatten, flatten, flatten. All right. And since we already did the back, we're just going to separate the back from the front and shake it out. Y'all can see I shook it out. So this is my front. Same thing with the cut, y'all. So with this one, I am going to start right here. Because I think my son is coming in. Oh, that's stop. I'm gonna start right here because I'm gonna cut out the neck. So small cut first for this one. I'm gonna go small, and then I'm gonna go wide. So each cut you want to get a little longer. These I'm gonna cut a little closer together, so we can have like a screen if you will. So we're going out. Once I get to where I want it to stop, I'm going to come back in. I'm going to start coming back in now. These are a little off. Let's straighten it up. So I just came back in. Coming back in, and I'm gonna make a small, really small one. So that's it, looks kind of look like a diamond. So it goes like this small, large, back to small, right? And we just gonna do that all the way down in front of the shirt. This shirt is little, so it shouldn't take long. So I'm gonna go back out.
just cut each row a little bit longer. Just want to kind of make it match with the first set I did. Start bringing it in. I would be going faster. My scissors, my scissors are just, I just need some new scissors. They, they get, I done had them for two years now, so it's time for a new pair. And then I'm going to go back out. To finish it up, but not too far. And I'm going to bring it back in. I'm just going to leave a little room down here to cut off my edge. So I'll fold, pick it up, fold it together, stretch it out first. Fold it together. And I'm going to cut off the hem. I like to fold it like this and cut the hem. If you got some good scissors, you can whip right through there. That's another little bracelet for me. Of course, y'all know we got to make the shutters match. So... Line everything up. And cut it off. Take it, get rid of that collar. Um, how do I want to do the collar? Let's go with a V cut. Okay, got rid of the collar. Let's slice up those shoulders. Oh, this is bad, honey. Bad. Bad. It's time for some new scissors. I'm taking uh, donations. <laughs> I'm starting to go find me. Well, no, I take that back. I'm not going to do a go find me for my scissors. I'm doing a go find me for my venture first, and then we'll do the scissors later. Remember, don't cut on that um, that hem. You want to cut around it and put it in the middle. And this time we took them all the way to the collar. All right, Phoebe, you ready, girl? Let's get up the camera on Phoebe. She says she ready. Y'all, this one. Hey, come out of there. Okay. Baby's ready. So this is our front cut. Y'all know what? Did I do that right? Yeah, okay. I almost forgot if I uh, took the back out. This is going to be the front cut. And if you want to wear it cut up like this, you can always... Hold on, I need to fix the collar. You can always... um. Wear a t-shirt up under it. I hope I did this. I messed up on the collar, but I'm about to cut it off. So hopefully it still looks okay. Okay. I can fix it. You can always fix it. But yeah, you can wear like tank tops and do like different colors up under there. It'll be cute. Yep, I messed that up. It's okay. I can fix it.
this is a front cut. And like I said, if you want to go in, this will look cute with some jeans and like a different color shirt up under there, like a cami, you could put, I think that's what they call them, little end tank tops. But bam, let me scoot back so y'all can see. That's cute, honey. Let's go, Phoebe. Got the arms cut up. And y'all, I am a shoulder person. I love my t-shirts hanging off my shoulders. I just think that it's just so cute. You can have one string up and a rest draping down on your arm. But yeah, that is the front cut. Let me come over here and see what y'all talking about. Oh, okay. It's hot. My air is going and it don't seem like it's cooling off anything. Okay. Shout out to everybody that's in here hanging with me. I appreciate it. I hope y'all are enjoying the content. You like the side cut? Yeah, the side cut is dope. I love the side cut. Why is it forgetting what's up? Am I doing something wrong? Okay. Hey, Tracy. We just got through cutting up some t-shirts. I did three cuts, front side and back. Uh, uh, <laughs> was I going too fast? I, I can I can redo this video. But yeah, that's the front cut. If you put a t-shirt in there, it won't show too much. I mean, just imagine like a different color shirt under there. I wonder if I can... I don't have a shirt smaller than that. If I had a smaller t-shirt, I would put it under there so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But any shirt you cut up, you can always wear another, like a tank top up under it to make it, and it's still going to give that appeal that you're trying to give. So, but yeah. Everybody's saying, hello, Tracy. Yeah, Tech, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear. <laughs> Are you, I think, you don't think you can wear that one, Big Rooster? <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm going to make you a shirt. And the only thing I'm going to cut off of it is the sleeve. I'm just going to cut the sleeves, and there you go. I'm going to cut the sleeves, and there you go. Okay, see, Tracy, no, you can put a tank top up under there. I wish I could find something to put under there. I don't have any tank tops, though. But you can definitely put a tank top up under there and um, rock it. Now my camera is acting stupid again, so. Hey, Uni Boo. Uni, what you think about this? What you think about this T-shirt? Let me switch it back. Would you rock that t-shirt? We just did, we just cut up some t-shirts, Uni. Like with a tank top. You can put a tank top up under there. Let me show you, let me show you the, the one that I like because we just did. So, this is the one that I like. jeans or some leggings it's gonna drape over your leggings 
V cut in the front and the back and on the side. Tia said the only place she, oh, I see what happened. What's happening? Tia said the only place she would be able to wear this is at home. And I told her it works as, it doubles as bedroom wear. Not only is it a t-shirt, but you can wear it in the bedroom too. Y'all remember what Adina Howard said, t-shirt in my what? T-shirt in my what? Okay, so I'm back. All right, let me see what y'all saying over here. Uh, hey, Yoni. I love it. I, my, mine are too. And I will stuff them things. Let me find some good shoulder pads. I'm stuffing them just so I can wear that t-shirt. I won't go get a BBL though, but I will stuff. Ain't no shame in my game. <laughs> Let's see. I've cut one up the, like the black. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, this thing great. Start acting silly. This is what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody saying, hey. And we'll, and, okay. And have, okay. Pashley and Trina. <laughs> I feel you, Tracy. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> not stuff <laughs> yes so y'all my camera's gonna start acting funny i'm about to i need a video not wait i need a video not too long ago you made a video not too long ago oh cutting up i need to go back and look at that so i'm about to be doing like i said i'm about to send out kids t-shirt kits i'm about to have them available on my website my t-shirt cutting up class was a success my mom hosted it in her yard and she has like this these two like giant um gabbana type things she calls it the diva den and she done decked it out honey when i tell you it is so nice and so we had the um nacho bar going on my mama made her juju juice she called it juju juice it is so good and uh we had a good time so I want to try to do one in next month, but I am think I'm going to wait and do one maybe in the, I don't know. I don't know yet. I was kind of like, I was kind of thrown off from it because like I said, it was just so much stuff that happened to prevent it, but God gave me the idea. It worked out fine. Everybody socialized with, with each other. They loved it. And yeah, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you see that? Big Rooster, she said, don't start with her. She's going to wrap you up in that T-shirt. Don't do it. Don't do it. May, okay, so she made the video. We're going we gonna to have to go look that, look and check that out. You know what? Once I get me, well, I can't part with Phoebe. That's Phoebe. My cousin gave me that. Somebody um was cleaning out. Uh, her her store or something and she had those i'm trying to find me i want two um i have three i have many he's a man mannequin but i'll be taking my bra and stuffing it with water balloons because he's a little bit thicker than her so i stuff it with water balloons and try to make it look like a girl and i take my little um my daughter calls it shapewear panties and put it on there and stuff it with toilet paper so you can have a button stuff too because you know i'm poor so i have to do what i gotta do um but yeah he i make him like a girl and i got a little baby one over there too but i want a plus size mannequin that stands up and if she has a head that would be great because then i can give her a whole personality like with some wigs and stuff so yeah i want a plus size mannequin that stands up with the head so i can give her some wigs and put some jeans and do some like some cut up some jeans and stuff so yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you this light child oh my gosh I feel like the sun is right next to my face okay i'm a, a mannequin <laughs> mannequin on him on his show tonight uh-oh it's about to be a 
looking for an economical one. Yep. Well, I tell you what, when I get me a plus size one, that's the only girl one that I got right now. I, we can figure out how. What state are you in, Tracy? We can figure out how to ship it to y'all. But I tell y'all what, if y'all have stores clothing, closing in y'all's area, like especially big department stores, they always mark their uh, fixtures down. Um, my son brought me my mani mannequin. It was like $24. And the mannequins ain't cheap, but he brought me that one. It actually has a stand to it that it can go on. But I'm looking for um, like when the, these stores close down or try Facebook Marketplace. Um, I know, is it Uline? I think Uline sells mannequins. It's some kind of business uh, store or whatever. They sell mannequins that are pretty reasonable. They still expensive. I'm trying to, I'm trying to buy everything for twenty five dollars. <laughs> That's my budget. <laughs> That's my what you call it. My um, what what was the word when you spend really quickly? That's my budget for just spontaneous shopping is $25. That's all I can afford. He has been picking on me all day. Ru, Ru, why are you picking on Tracy? She said you've been picking on her all day. You're in Michigan. Okay, yeah. Michigan is not too far away. I'm in Indy, Indiana. Credit with tuck. What are stores? They are almost obsolete. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right. You're right. It seemed like everything is closing down and and shutting down that is absolutely true pretty soon we ain't gonna have nothing so but that's when i plan to shine so y'all can always shop from me <laughs> y'all need clothing y'all can buy from me <laughs> listen i was on when i was on jerry and oh y'all y'all gotta go y'all have to set up to do a, a interview with jerry jerry is so cool well, we was on there talking and I was telling him we have in our community, in this community, we have enough people to create a whole entire village. We have protectors, right? The people who talk about firearms and all of that stuff. We have preparers, right? We have crafters. We have gardeners. We have sewers. Like we have everything that we don't even need no money. We can just barter amongst each other and save the money and do something big with the money. That way we keep supplies and stuff coming in into our bubble community that I invented in my head. But yeah, we got hunters. We got people who work on cars. We have people who teach us, teach us self-defense. What else we got? We have people who are religious. We have entertainers, gamers, like everything that we need, we have it amongst all of us. I think that's amazing. I just, I'm just trying to figure out how to get us all in that bubble so we can all just be together and share our stuff. So, yo, I got my vent all packed up for a pop-up tomorrow morning. Oh, I love vending. I love vending. Now, this last one I did, I didn't really do too good, but I think it was due to, I think it, it was a big event. I think it was due to the location where I was at. Well, I can't really say that because where I was at, they were coming in. I think what it was, was the time that the event ended and the time that it started and then the rain so it rained but it didn't really rain like it was a rain threat but um yeah i didn't do too good uh which is the first for the guy that i do them with i always making a good piece of change enough to pay two bills uh <laughs> but i think if he had a made it later in the day that i probably would have did better but it's okay. You win some, you lose some. That's the part of being an entrepreneur. But we are going to pray. Everybody, I see that Tracy has a pop up tomorrow. We are praying for increase. We are praying for unlimited customers and a complete sold out stand. And Tracy, make sure you go live so we can see. Make sure you go live. Wait, what? Your van, it won't start? We're going to pray for the van, too. I didn't even see that. I'm up here seeing pop-up, and I get excited because I love vending. But we are going to pray that your van starts. 
So it, it needs a jump. So do you need a new battery? Check your battery. You know, AutoZone, Advanced Auto, they all do free battery checks if you can get it there. Uh, sometimes they allow you the little machine to diagnose your um, to see why it's not starting, but check your battery, check your ground wire because the ground wire can be a butt wire. Take some Coca Cola, pull it on your connectors, and scrub it with a brush because what that do, the Coca Cola will clean off all that white acid off of your connectors. And if you get a bad connection, it's not going to start. So try that. What else? Um, if it's jumping, it's just making me think. If you've jumped it before, it's making me think that you probably just need a new battery. Because sometimes those cells in the battery go bad. So if you got a warrant to use it. Um, but yeah. And if you take the battery off, once you do get a jump and you can take the battery off and it's still running, we know it's not your alternator. Okay. okay. Yes, please go live. Please go live. It is always something, but that's just the devil because he know you got a blessing coming and I'm learning that. He always going to do that. Y'all need to read the book of Job. I'm telling y'all, it's just amazing. He always going to do that. When God got something for you planned, he's going to jump in there and try to steal, kill, and destroy. But keep the faith. I'll keep it right here. Keep the faith, honey. That's all you need. That much right there. That's, that's all you need. Keep the faith and pray on that thing and let tell God, you know, ask him whatever his will is to let it happen, to give you strength and confidence and courage to deal with whatever it is that you need to deal with. You're going to be all right. We're going to pray that it all works out in your favor. But, yep, that battery, take the battery. You can take If you can get somebody to take the battery off, it's real easy to do. Y'all need to invest in some tools, ladies. Get y'all some tools. Oh, and if y'all got junkyards, if y'all got junkyards in y'all's location, go visit a junkyard and tear up some stuff. Even if you just need to get some frustration out, go tear up some stuff. I love going to the junkyard. That's one of my favorite places to shop. I love going and finding all kind of little stuff in my car. I love the junkyard. Yeah. Hey, Crapa, what's going on? We just got through cutting up some t-shirts. So yeah, I'm about to get off of this thing. Um, cause big Ruru is great. Come on. And I gotta get my sink on. I gotta call my mama first. Cause my mama called me. And then I'm gonna go and be on Big Rooster show. Oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got my um microphone. My microphone ready. I gotta make sure it's charged up. Hello, hello, hello. Echo. Okay, y'all see my mic? It's ready. I'm ready for I'm ready. I'm ready. God will be your jumper cables tomorrow. Now coming back home, he may be a little tired, so you might have to look for June bugging him. <laughs> what you say, June bugging him? Throw him a couple of cans of beer. Or the shades, the mechanic. You gonna you don't have to look for the mechanic. Yeah, but just throw June bugging them a couple a couple of beers and a couple of pieces of chicken. They gonna hook you up. I promise you that. But it's gonna work out for you. We're gonna pray for you, Tracy. Nicole. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody speaking. All right, y'all. I'm asking y'all today. Um, I hope y'all like this content. I'm trying, I, I rebranded my channel. I'm in a space of peace. I'm in my season. I'm happy. Things are not perfect by far, but my peace is. So y'all gonna see a lot of stuff. Y'all gonna see me. I, I get to be me. Y'all gonna see me, okay? So be ready and I hope y'all like what y'all see. I don't have time to get no battery. Dang, that's the only thing. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. Now, listen, let me ask you this. I don't know what your situation is, Tracy, but you know Walmart sells batteries and they do deliver. And I don't know if you can order them online, though. So I'm not going to tell you that. But might look into it. Go to Walmart.com. Look up your battery and see if you can have it delivered. 
I don't know if that might work. I don't know. Well, you got to be there at eight in the morning, so it, it probably won't help you out. Dang. We just we just gonna pray on that thing. It's gonna happen for you. It's gonna everything is gonna happen for you. I wish I was there. I will. You know, I I'll come and give you a ride. I'll be sitting out there with you, talking about, hey, y'all need to check it. Come over here now. Check my girl out. I wish I wish I had my mom, and I'm not damn playing my mom. I love my mom. My mom has my back, and my kids. Sometimes I can get them to go. Sometimes I can't. But I wish I had someone who did the same thing that I did to go to my vending events with me because I feel like it would just be so much fun and so bomb because it's a whole different thing when somebody understands what you do or they do what you do. It's a whole different thing. Everybody's speaking. Got to set up outside, y'all. Yep, got to set up. So we're going to pray for good weather. We're going to pray for her vehicle to get together. Yep, ask your son. Yep. We're going to pray for anything she needs tomorrow to just fall into her lap in Jesus' name. Okay. Yeah, I used to work on cars. I miss working on cars. I know how to do my own stuff because I have a 2006 Buick Rendezvous. That's my favorite car. But I can do my own starter. I can do my own spark plugs. And them plugs ain't easy. The man that I'm married to, he won't touch it. He never would do the spark plugs because there's three in the back of the motor and three in the front of the motor. And to, the, to do the three in the back of the motor, you're going to need a long maggot, some bubble gum, and a mirror. And that's how you get them. And if you want to know how to do it, I'll tell you. But you're definitely going to need some bubble gum for that um, spark plug socket because them things be falling out and you're going to get mad. And it took me about three tries before I figured out I need some bubble gum. And I'll tell you how to use that. <laughs> Yep, keep the faith. That's what we got to do. Okay, y'all, it's one. I got a car also, Kim. But if you transfer everything, I will. Yep. Do you have a lot of, do you have a lot of, because I've been trying to like, I've been trying to, I've been trying to um, compact my stuff when I travel. So like I use those, I, I, I got a, about three of those big gigantic Michaels um, shopping bags. So like I'll take it and put all my t-shirts, fold them up and put them in the plastic things, of course, and stuck them down in there. So that's a bag I can carry my shoulder. My mom gave me one of those carts. Definitely invest in you a cart because I like tore up hers. Mama, you still here? I don't see her, but uh, <laughs> I tore up hers twice. <laughs> um, so she ended up buying me one for Mother's Day. Um, so get you one of those cards. And then I've been using, like I have two tubs that my mom found at a school or something she used to work at. So I just take those two and I just try to compact things. I'll be doing jam pack jam. So when I go, I use my son's car. He has like a 2013 Mazda CX-5 and it is small. So I have to put that in there. My tent, my tent is that big giant white one. that costs like $200 at Walmart sales. I have to put that in there, my tables and um, my chairs, my my um, my stuff that I'm selling. Then I have to take my oxygen machine. <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm putting all of that in the car. And if the girls go, like this last time, they went with me. Excuse me. And so I had to make sure I had room for them. But honey, I know what you mean. I, I used to have a minivan and I, I love my van. People say minivans are not cool, but I don't care what they say. I say forget them because I love a good minivan. But I love my rendezvous. Okay, I'm about to. Listen, I'm at the point now where my check. I know it's time to wind down. I'm at the, uh, see you in a few big rooms. So like I'm behind y'all. Let me hurry up. I'm at the, I do too. They probably got, to, yep. I'm at the point now where my children are old enough, like I'll fix them a meal, but I don't eat a lot. So if I don't get hungry, it kind of, I kind of forget. They know how to come down here and get them something to eat when they get hungry. They know what to do. They know how to cook. They know how to clean. They know how to wash clothes. And they know Friday nights belong to me because I got to be on the big rooster show. <laughs> All right, y'all get that money. That's right. Get that money, Tracy, tomorrow. We can already go. Um, y'all, I know, right? Um, 
I want to, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I don't know how to redirect my channel and stuff, but listen, y'all come over to the Big Rooster Show. If you've had a rough week, a good week, a bad week, but if you just want to be safe in your home and have a good time and have fun, y'all come over there. He does Freestyle Fridays and it's so much fun. We get to go up and sing and just laugh and have a good time and you can win $10. It's just so much fun. So I encourage y'all to come over there and I got to I gotta get your link, Big Rooster. I got to figure out how to I gotta figure out how to let y'all drop y'all links so we can connect with each other. Um, but yeah, definitely come over there. I'm about to just go grab it. So where are you? Ooh, you hear my heavy foot children up there? Okay, so I'm gonna grab this link, copy, and I'm going to paste it. Okay. You're yeah, welcome. That's because we love you. We love you. Okay, let's see. Much love and respect. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Mosquitoes just ate me alive. Be careful. Spray you down with some off. Big rooster. Thank you, Tim. Yes, everybody. I will see y'all over at Big Rooster Show. He's going to go live here shortly. I love y'all. Thank you so much for coming over and watching my channel. Remember the mustard seed, y'all. Remember to pray on that thing, whatever it is. Don't just pray for the bad stuff either. Pray for the good things and don't forget to count your blessings. Whenever you're feeling down or sad or out or just stuck, look around you and start counting your blessings because it helps you get in a better mood. And also helping other people helps you get in a better mood. Well, it works for me. Um, but anyway, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Everybody, don't forget to pray for Tracy. And I'm about to catch y'all on the Big Rooster Show. So with that being said, don't forget to unleash your creativity. Don't forget to hit that like button, share me out, and subscribe to me if you felt like this was something that you loved and enjoyed. And I love y'all. Bye! Tell you something I could do I could be running or I'm chasing you But I won't Cause I got better, better things to do Rather spend my precious time Chasing somebody who loves me too If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Life, life if you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight When you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play